Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Papa Tom. And today, I want to share with you my Basaya word that I'm going to learn. A word I'm going to practice, a word that will help me learn, hopefully, to recognize and understand some conversations that are happening in Basaya with my wife's dialect of the Philippines and a lot of her friends all speak it. So, um, you get to come along on my journey as I practice. So you can do the same thing. You can learn one word a day. It's not really hard to do one word. It's really hard to do a lot of words, but not one word. So today's word, guys, is running. Okay? The Basaya word for running is modogan. Modogan. Okay? So here's how I remember these words or how I practice them throughout the day. So I'm on my way to work, but I'm going to use a joke. And you can use this joke today, too. Tell your kids this joke. They'll like this joke. Ready? Why was the broom modogan late? Why was the broom modogan late? Because it overswept. <laughs> See, swept. It's like slept. It overswept. <laughs> it's a good joke, guys. Use it. All right. Another thing I like to do on this channel is I like to leave a lesson for my kids, something for them to think about, something for them to hopefully take a part of as they grow up, as they mature, as they get older, um, so that maybe they'll, in the back of their mind, when they're faced with certain situations, they'll remember my words. Maybe it's because they've watched my video, maybe it's because I've told them in person. You know, I do both, but kids don't always listen very well. They're just focused on right here and right now. Um, but hopefully they'll look back on this and they'll say, yeah, you know, dad's right. Let's do that. So today, today I'm stealing a quote from, you've probably seen this on, um, they make pictures like that you can put in your house and things like that. But, but the quote isn't, and I always, I've had this in my house. It says, dance like nobody's watching and sing like nobody's listening, right? There's also a couple other quotes that go with it. Like, love like you've never been hurt type of thing but but dancing and singing is important okay guys so right now as i look at my children william he likes to dance that boy can get down <laughs> you know he's got the moves he's not shy he's an extrovert now bella on the other hand she seems like she's not a dancer like she doesn't like to dance when we have dance parties and stuff she's you know she's not dancing's not her thing right now and that's fine it's no biggie but, you know, as she gets older, I want her to, you know, not be afraid to dance. Excuse me, I gotta sneeze. Whoa, I'm back. So, you know, don't be afraid to dance. When I was a kid, I was always self-conscious. You know, I didn't think I was a good dancer. And I always looked at my friends who were, I don't know, I thought they were good dancers. I thought, well, I can't dance like that. You know, then there was the, the stereotypes of, well, white guys can't dance. So I'm like, well, I'm white, so I can't dance. Oh my God, people have been saying it. It's all over TV and the movies. White guys can't dance, so I can't dance. So I always thought, well, I can't dance because I'm white. Well, it's not really true, guys. Anybody can dance no matter what color your skin is or what race or religion you are. So um, some people are just better dancers. It doesn't matter because they're a different color or something like that. They're just better dancers. They just have the moves. Um, so you know what? Shake it like a Polaroid picture, baby. Do it. Um, just get out there and dance, okay? And You know, it's it's different for guys and girls, I think. Girls are more natural. Guys are, I don't know. You know, I look back at, like, school dances and things, and I was always afraid to go dance because I didn't want to embarrass myself, and I didn't want to, I didn't really know how to dance good, and it always seemed like I was not doing it right, and everybody else around me was dancing great. But, But seriously, no matter how awkward or uncoordinated you think you are there's nothing cooler than a guy who isn't afraid to dance so that's why sometimes you see us have dance parties and brian gets in on them and and his kids dance parties are fun just dance you know shake it like a polaroid picture those of you that don't know what a polaroid is or that doesn't even make sense to you is polaroid cameras are cameras from like the 70s and 80s maybe but you put the film in, you take a picture, and it spit out an instant picture, like right then, but it was all black, so you had to kind of shake it so the color would come in. It's weird, but you would shake the picture, and then pretty soon the color would come in, and you had an instant picture right there. Yeah, we've come a long way, baby. 
Um, anyway, guys, that's my lesson for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Um, that really helps my channel a lot just by hitting the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, but it, it helps bring my number. One eternity later. All right, guys, we're at the freezer of the Popsicle Land. We're going to pull out the box. It's yeah, really full. Like to pick a we and get box. Popsicles. Wait, 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 wait. I am definitely choosing red. That's a good choice. I'm that's my favorite. I'm choosing purple. I'm choosing red. It's really hard to see because they're still in the bag. That's red. This is red. I want red. I'm getting purple. And then orange is here, I think. Okay, guys. Let's see if they all pick the right color. Mm -hmm. uh, can you help? Oh, oh, don't eat it yet. Let's, let's, no, just wait. let's just open and see what colors one. everybody got first. Can you help me? Yeah, hold that one. Uh, and this one I is gray. Hold that one. No, that's orange. Okay, you wanted orange. Yeah. You wanted red. Yeah. And you got gray. All right. Perfect. That makes a rainbow, guys. Let me see your rainbow popsicles. All right. Yeah, that was a fun game. Good boy. Good boy, Wissy Pants. Whoa, careful. Thank you. You're so strong. You're lifting that piano with one hand. you climbing up there all by yourself. Oh, you almost died. One eternity later. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's Thursday night. I'm gonna show you what I'm making the kids to eat. So we've got William, Michael, and Kathleen. So tonight we're gonna have something they've never had before. It's gonna be super delicious and they're gonna love it. Yeah, guys, so everybody's watching. So tonight we're gonna have, for the very first time ever, grilled peanut butter and banana and jelly sandwiches. They've never had them before, but I think they're gonna love them. So here's the ingredients, guys. Look, a banana, Jif peanut butter creamy, peach preserves, bread, and we're gonna do it all up on the hot griddle. So guys, here we go. Ooh, we hope it sounds so good.
a Papa Tom's special grilled peanut butter and banana jelly sandwiches. So guys, the trick is, it's two pieces of bread, right? And you put butter on the outside of the sandwich like you would a grilled cheese. And then on the inside, you got the peanut butter, the jelly, and the bananas. But it's kind of complicated because you're, you've got sticky stuff and, and then butter on each side of the bread. So you don't want to burn the sandwiches and I'm doing four at once. So it's just going to be a, quite a scene.
All right, there you go, guys. On the griddle, frying on one side. It'll get the peanut butter nice and creamy and soft on the inside. Nice warm sandwich and crispy on the outside like a grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, so good. All right, guys, so look at that. Nice and brown and just yumminess on that side, right? I'm gonna get the other side. I think it's almost done. It's like eating dessert for supper. Who likes dessert? Everybody raise their hand, guys. You didn't see it, but here, I'll show you Michael. His hand is still raised. Yeah, still raised, guys. Desserts, number one. Here's a healthy eating tip for you guys. Always eat desserts first, all right? Then go to the rest of your dinner. Oh, and William's going, me, me, me. <laughs> me too. Yeah, buddy. chicken nuggets. Is that what you want? <laughs> I didn't think so. Like Guys, William wants to have chicken nuggets for every meal, every day of his whole life. I told him he's going to turn into a chicken nugget if he eats chicken nuggets every day. And then Kathleen said, I will eat you, William, because I like chicken nuggets. They're done, I'm just letting them cool. Daddy, okay guys, we'll be right back and we'll see if they like Gee. it. Kathleen has the first bite, guys. Mm. What do you think? So she said it's so yummy, guys. It's so yummy. Anybody can make grilled peanut butter, banana, and jelly sandwiches. What do you think, Michael? Mm -hmm. You give it a thumbs up? Two thumbs up? Three thumbs up? How many thumbs do you have, William? Two? All right, guys. No. Ten thumbs up? Oh my gosh. Five thumbs up? Ten. Ten. Oh, they're giving toes. Guys, we're getting feet and toes. That's how delicious grilled peanut butter and banana is. Alright guys, we're going to watch them eat. Actually, we're going to get my mommy each and take a bite so she can at least say she tried peanut butter, banana, and jelly. Yes? Tomorrow? Yeah, we're gonna have a barbecue tomorrow night when I get home. We're gonna cook out hamburgers and hot dogs in the backyard on the grill. Wow. Yes. yes. Barbecue. Are we gonna have Sam over? I think mommy's gonna invite him. I don't know if they're coming or can come or not. Hey guys, it's Kathleen has eaten her entire sandwich <laughs> almost in record time. No, While on the other hand, the bulldozer has only taken a two bites. No, I got two. You got two? Yeah, I got two Give juices. Give Michael his juice back. Hey. You did drink that. I don't want saliva. He didn't. He drank his one. Yeah. Don't play with other people's juice, buddy. Okay. You gotta eat your sandwich. Look, Michael's is gone. The bulldozer has not hardly eaten his food. Kathleen has eaten her whole food. Do you guys know who made this sandwich famous? You. I'm gonna tell you. I don't know if you've yeah. ever heard of him. Yeah. His name was Elvis Presley. Did you ever hear of Elvis? No. 
He was the king of rock and roll. You know what rock and roll is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was really, he, he died a long time ago. It's like electric guitar. Yeah, he played guitar and he was a super superstar way, way back before I was born even. What? Elvis. He says, a one for the money, a two for the show, a three to get ready now, go boy, go, no, no, do, 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 do. Like that. Is that, a good, is that a good song? No. Yeah. What else did he sing? Oh, that was called My Blue Suede Shoes or something.